Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix internal 500 errors and also fix uh, mod security rules for your websites using WordPress. So if you go to your website and you're getting a HTTP error 500, then there's probably something wrong with a plugin or something going on with your site. And the easiest way to check out what's going on, and most of these errors are caused by mod security, which is the web application firewall that Plesk uses and spe specifically RootPal uses. We use what's called Immunify 360, and that has an automatic web application fire firewall with their own custom mod securities. And what mod security is, is it's a firewall for detecting um, specific anomalies of PHP code that could contain viruses, um, especially, especially like specific PHP scripts or cron jobs or anything weird going on with your WordPress instance that shouldn't really be there. And sometimes there's false positives with these rules that specific plugins that you install will cause the mod security um, to basically trip out. And that is an issue because it'll break your website and it'll give you this HTTP 500 error. So what you have to do is, and if we look down here, you'll be able to see a bunch of specific, a bunch of different tags and other things that are included. And web application firewall and mod security is something very, very important from protecting your website from getting hacked. So, you know, if you're not using WordFence or some other plugin that increases your security of your WordPress website, it's best to leave this on. If you're using WordFence or using some other security plugins, you can go ahead and turn this off, click apply, and this issue will not happen anymore. You'll be able to clear up this error 500. Uh, but let's see, before you even go down into mess with mod security or web application firewall, it's always best to check the logs. So if we go to the logs in Plesk, we can see by selecting only errors and scrolling up. And this is what I recently just loaded. And I loaded this about five minutes ago. And you can see that the mod security warning is coming up. So this broke the website when I went to the, the WP-admin. And as you can see, this, this it recorded the HTTP 500 error here. And it tells you what's wrong. So it says, this plugin um, is having an issue with Elementor. And to fix it, and it's specifically this rule right here. So what you can do is you can copy this ID right here where it says ID. We can go back to web application firewall and we can enter that ID to ignore it. And then we can click apply. If you don't want to do this and you have WordFence or you have some other security plugin, just turn web application firewall off, click apply, and it should fix it as well but I want the web application firewall on, so I'm gonna use the security rule method, which just switches off that rule to not check for it. So I'll check for other rules and other possible attacks and hacks, um, that other PHP scripts or whatever in your WordPress, and I'll just click apply right now. It'll apply the security rule to ignore it. It'll take a second. Okay, there we go. And so it updated. Now we're gonna reload this again and we still get an error. So let's go back to the logs. And let me show you something really cool. So what we could do is, what I like to do is start real-time updates and then clear. Now if we reload this page, we'll be able to see what's going on. Okay, so after reloading that, 
I'm also getting this error right here, which is something to do with word fence. Um, and it's saying got error PHP message, open base directory restriction in this file. All right, so there's something going on with WordFence, this plugin right here. Um, and if we click to open the file, oh, can't find the file at the specific location. That's probably it, there, the file's missing. So now we know what's causing, which plugin is causing the issue that's breaking this site. What I would do personally to fix this right now is I would, um, I would probably disable the WordFence plugin and remove this file from WordFence dash uh, from the HTTP docs. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and remove that file. Even though it says it's not there. So let's see what's going on. There it is. So let's go ahead and just remove this because there's something going on. Let's actually just check in there okay all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna remove this because it's not needed um, right now I think it's given an issue with maybe web application firewall but after removing that still given issues All right, let's start real-time updates, refresh, and we're still getting this right here, okay. So I see what's going on. Um, it's, look, it's looking for code that wasn't in this WordFence waf.php file. That's why it's breaking. Um, so the best thing to do is to just completely uninstall WordFence and then try and reinstall it. Um, I'm gonna disable WordFence and I'll show you how to disable that really quick as well. He was getting uh, he was getting errors on the mod security as well. So uh, I don't think disabling web application firewall. Let's try it. I don't think this is going to fix it, um, even if we disabled it entirely, because I think there's something broken um, with the WordFence plugin, and they may need to reinstall it and reconfigure the settings that is happening on uh, on their WordPress website, reconfigure everything. But let's just go ahead and disable web application firewall. Maybe it's messing with WordFence, um, but I'm pretty sure that that WAF file just got messed up. Yeah, so mod security wasn't even breaking this site. Um, this rule wasn't even breaking it, but that's how you fix mod security rules because he did get that error earlier today with mod security. So. I'm going to turn this back on and not only that, I'm going to go disable WordFence um, and I'll show you how to disable a plugin in WordFence that's, or in WordPress that's causing issues. So you go to the W content, you go to plugins, we're going to find that WordPress plugin and then we're going to rename it and that's all you have to do. So let's go ahead and rename this, um, rename and we'll say off. We'll click OK. That disables the plugin. And we're still getting an error. One minute while I look this error up. I just want to see um, if someone else has gotten this error. I think there's some other place that's affecting the. Uh, 
there's some other place that's affecting the WordPress website that I can't find. So, okay. So let's go back here to file manager. And here's the culprit. There it is. So this user.ini is looking for that path. Um, and so if I disable this and reload, there we go. And that's how you fix internal 500 errors and diagnose it. You could just look it up on Google. Um, typically the logs uh, in Plesk always have the issues that are going to be, and you can, sometimes you can just look it up, you know, you can just look it up and see. So now that if we load in real time, we'll see everything's loading without any errors. We did, we did clear that, um, that mod security rule as well. He was getting a mod security error, which seems to happen on the same day. So this can break your website as well. Um, so it's good we fix this. And uh, he was getting this error in the WP-admin as well. So there you go. That's how you diagnose errors, internal 500 errors, and how you fix mod security errors. Um, and also whitelist uh, rules in mod security. But that's it. Thank you and stay tuned for more WordPress help and tips.